Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing the April Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxing. I am, first of all, so obsessed with this bag design. I know I missed last month's unboxing. I had a really busy work travel schedule last month and the March bag came and I was like immediately out the door for like two weeks for work trips. So I figured by the time I even had it up, it would be like halfway through March and there wouldn't be a point. But anyway, we're back. We're gonna do the April one. Let's go. I hope this is showing well on camera, but this is the design for the April glam bag. It is like a really nude peach background with white daisies, and I think it is so perfect for spring, and it is one of my favorite designs so far. First item I pulled out of here is the Aceology Hydro Glow Deep Hydration Watermelon Eye Mask. I feel like there's so many skincare brands doing watermelon something or another. I do like that they're individually packaged, so like there's one set per pack, and so I am actually on my way to a wedding this weekend, and I think I'm gonna pack these with me. Speaking of watermelon, here is a very tiny tube of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Um, if you've seen my review of the Watermelon Niacinamide Sunscreen, I do quite like that one, and I do like that one still. Um, I have tried the sleeping mask and I like it. So in general, I tend to like Glow Recipe stuff. I'm glad I got it, but I'm sad it's such a small bottle. Next, we have this Wander Beauty mascara. This is also a mini. This is the Unleashed one. Um, I have a full size of this from a past Ipsy bag, I think. It's not my favorite one out of all the Wander Beauty ones. I like the gold, the one in the gold packaging better. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah. The fourth item is this hydrating primer by Shades by Sean. Never heard of the brand. Um, I like that it's in shrink wrap, even though they could have just gone with like a little seal under the cap. If you've been on my channel for a second, you know that I generally don't use primers, so this will be given away. The very last item in here is this Lottie AM to PM retractable eyeliner. Yes, they call it like velvet finish, velvet retractable eyeliner. Anyway, this is a purple one. I actually strangely have a lot of purple eyeliners, so I'm actually not going to unwrap this one either, but I will put a little image from the website of like what color purple is. Anyway, on to the Glam Bag Plus. There are some big items in today's Glam Bag Plus, so I'm excited to unbox these. The first item in here is this very big tube of face scrub. This is from the brand Butta, and I believe it's sold at Sephora, and I believe it's a black founder. This is the Tea Tree and Aloe Mask Scrub. It is triple action, clay mask, foam cleanser, deep exfoliator. I like that it, you know, is not really telling you how you should use it because I feel like with a lot of cleansers, there's not really a way you could do it wrong. I am excited to try this, although the only other butter item I've tried was like a vitamin C drop. And for some reason, it just irritated my skin. So hopefully this one is a bit better. This is literally a giant tube. It's like over three ounces. I got another cleanser in my Glam Bag Plus. This is from Dr. Brandt. This is the pH Balance Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. Um, to be honest, not quite sure why I as a human would want chlorophyll because um, that's chlorophyll is what gives plants like their green color. So this is also full size. I really like the simple packaging. It does say also that like, oh, it's pH balanced. It maintains the pH balance of your skin. and. I feel like most cleansers these days aren't terribly pH unbalanced, but that's what toners used to be for. It used to like bring your skin back um, because a lot of soaps tend to be basic. Next we have lip gloss from House Laboratories, which as you know is Lady Gaga's brand. I actually don't know if she sells it anywhere other than Amazon. I've never purchased anything from her, but I have tried a couple of things from her um, just through Ipsy and other ways I've mysteriously gotten her items. So this I think is a, oh gosh. So it is quite goopy. Um, I really like this curved doe foot applicator. I'm sorry, my camera is just like not focusing. This is like a doe foot applicator that is curved on one side. So I think it's gonna hug your lips really well. And this pink color kind of just looks perfect for every day. Next we have this brush set from Farah. This is actually also Daisy Print. Maybe they designed this bag around these brushes or the brush, the brush brand designed it around the glam bag, but these brushes are so cute. They have a clear handle. So they have a clear handle and there is also like a white yellow Daisy Print on it that matches the bags. That is so adorable. This dense brush, I'm already really excited for it. 
I've been really debating if I should switch from like a sponge to brush for my foundations. I just feel like, I don't know, I'm scared. But this will be at least perfect for like bronzer contour, like cream versions of it. All right, the very last item in here is this blush palette from the brand Misho. I've not heard of them, Misho. Um, I'm probably not even saying that correctly. And here is what that looks like. So it's got three matte colors and one kind of shimmer color. I do like a shimmer blush because I feel like the blinding highlight trend is kind of over. And so sometimes instead of using a highlighter, actually most of the time, instead of using a highlighter, I will just use like a shimmery blush. I do appreciate that the three matte blushes are like actually different colors. I feel like sometimes when you get a blush palette, a lot of the colors look really similar. So there is good variety in this one. Anyway, I am sure you're sick of hearing me talk already. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below before you go. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.